Well, how y'all doing today? Hope y'all having a blessed day. It is another rainy day here in Arkansas. This has been going on since the tornado went through and a uh, rainy day, cloudy day. Uh, we're hoping it straightens out and we get a nice break here before long. It's like insult to injury for a lot of people, I would imagine, after that tornado. So anyway, today I'm going to be making me some fermented garlic. Um, I picked up uh, some of these already peeled, but I do think that I will uh, clip, uh, cut the ends off because the ends look tough to me and I don't want anything tough in there. And I will be cutting them up anyway. Uh, a lot of people make infused tunny with herbs, uh, ginger, um, fruited. Some people use lavender and that's just the honey by itself and that's really good like in teas and stuff. And anyway, this is going to be um, fermented garlic, and I'm going to mix up this particular batch uh, for something that I'm doing, uh, or will be doing. And I'm going to add some uh, pepper flakes, and I'm going to ground them up to release some of that flavor in there. So, and I will be using mesquite, 100% raw honey is what you need to use, is the raw honey. And so I will infuse that all into this jar. The pepper flakes, the garlic, the honey. I will leave room at the top of my jar, about an inch, and uh, twice a week uh, I will burp the jar and I'm going to let it sit for about 20 days. And it can sit right here, uh, you know, on, on the counter as long as it's not around a source of heat or anything. Uh, but that's what I'm going to be doing today and I want to make up some other infused honeys. I have the the dark wildflower honey here. I have a couple more. I dug them out. I got them someplace. So I'm going to be mixing up, uh, you know, different kinds. And they have a, a great deal of medicinal purposes like the fermented garlic is. If you have a condition that's autoimmune, um, fermented garlic is a super duper uh, immune booster. And uh, honey is, is good for the stomach. Uh, you can look up all kinds of uh, different kind of infused honeys. People use them in tea or in baking and stuff like that, or just eat them by the spoonful. Uh, there's a lot of different medicinal uh, uses. Um, they are very. It's very good for you. Your health, gut, you know, uh, building immune system. There's there's a bunch of stuff. A whole list. And that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, now, I was playing catch up on my comments today, and YouTube has updated my app. And I try to stay up on, you know, responding to the people that are good enough to make comments on my channel. And when I was, you know, breezing through it today, I seen comments that were not there before. They were never there before. And it, it, they didn't show up until after my app was updated, uh, so I don't know what's up with that. And some of them, uh, the oldest one went back six months. Uh, I'm so sorry for all the comments that I didn't respond to, but I did not get them. Not until this app was updated, and also um, I'm having trouble with my comments will just shut themselves off. You know, I have to periodically go back and check on videos to make sure that the comments are still on. And every once in a while when I'm watching somebody else's video, everything will go digital. So I don't know if it's a glitch in the matrix or what happened there, but I'm sorry if I didn't get to your comments. Um, I even seen some in there from uh, Ugly uh, Housewife Rose uh, just about a month ago or just over a month ago. And I'm hoping she's doing all right. Um, you know, I would not do that if I'd known there was that they were there. But nobody's perfect. We all we all got to make time to do that. We all have a life. Uh, so that's what I'm going to be doing. And I did come across um, a comment from Arkansas Pilgrim, and he does a lot of gardening and canning and you know uh, little hobby things and stuff like that. And I had done a video, and in that video I mentioned that uh, lard was healthier for you than say Crisco, uh, you know, vegetable oil um, shortening, uh, because it's uh, vegetable shortening is hydrogenized, and lard is not, so it's healthier for you. 
And he come in and said, actually, if you're in the grocery store and you read the label, you will see that lard is hydrogenized. Most store-bought lard is hydrogenized, unless it states 100% pure lard. The chances of you getting that in your local grocery store is slim to none. You would probably have to order it online, and it I would imagine it's going to be costly. But the thing of it is, when you render your own lard uh, out of pork fat, my grandmother did, the point of rendering it is to get all the pieces out of there. And the only way to get the healthier, the healthiest version of lard is to render it yourself or buy 100% pure. Okay? Because the whole point of rendering it is getting all the, the particles of meat or anything in there because that will go bad in your lard and cause your lard to go bad. Now, bacon grease is not lard. Uh, that right there is a a bacon grease keeper and uh, my grandmother did that too and uh, she would put some in her beans and she would fry greens in it and baste her biscuits down with it and uh, you've got to use it now bacon fat will go bad because of the particles of bacon and meat in there those particles will go bad uh, making your your bacon grease bad and it will do the same thing to lard that's why you have to render it. Now, rendered lard is shelf stable. It doesn't have to be canned, but it has to be sealed. Uh, and it will last you years. And it is not hydrogenized. So it all depends. You know, bacon grease after a while, it has to be refrigerated. If, if, you know, but my grandmother went through it so quick it wasn't funny. She used it in everything. People did back then. But, you know, real lard uh, is not hydrogenized. And it will last you for, for, for years if stored properly. So anyway, uh, I will burp this jar twice a week and let it sit uh, in a cool place and ferment for about 20 days. Um, after that, I, I would probably put it in the fridge. But I will use this particular one on roast and chicken and ribs and stuff like that. There's all kinds of recipes for this. It's, uh, it's wonderful. It really is. It's very healthy for you. And so that's one of the things I've been wanting to get to. I'm going to get to today. Uh, so, sorry about the comments, y'all. And uh, I hope y'all having a blessed day. Y'all stay safe. Take care now. Bye-bye.